Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of NFI Hammer. In this episode I will try to answer the question, are specialty primer spray paints worth the money for beginners? Now I'm not disputing that they're probably very invaluable for experienced painters, but for beginners like myself I really wanted to get to the bottom of, does it actually make a difference? The reason why I am asking this question right now is because I've recently purchased a Leviathan box and kept the Tyranid half. There's a video here if you want to check it out and my thoughts on that. But with the Tyranid half, I've not painted any Tyranids before. I've been focusing mainly on the Necron army. And so with the Tyranids, I watched a few videos online and every single one of them said to use the Wraith Bone uh, spray pipe primer from the Citadel range. I thought I don't want to argue with the experts because I'm a beginner and I'm figuring things out. So I went to my local games workshop store and I picked up a can and when I went to the checkout it was $33.50 dollary dues. I was shocked by that because I'd been buying my priming spray paint from the Bunnings store which is our hardware store and it's literally half the price at $17 for a white spray paint primer. So I thought it'd be interesting to buy a cam and then do some tests at home to see if the differences of those are really you know what that's cracked out to be for someone who's a beginner like myself who doesn't really do a very good job of painting miniatures. I brought the cans home and what I decided to do was to assemble four termagants and the reason why I did four was so that I could paint two with the flat white primer and two with the wraith bone and then I can apply a base coat to one of each and have one spare as a control. One thing I did notice as well is the actual net weight between these cans are different by almost 100 grams. So not only is the wraith bone more expensive, but there's actually less paint in the can as well. So I'm just applying the primer here. I probably did pick too windy a day for this, but I'd also noticed that the wraith bone can, the paint kind of came out a bit different, but in a good way. I don't know if it's just better quality or it's just designed um, slightly differently but it wasn't a really big noticeable um, difference, but there is a little bit uh, of difference between the behavior of the two. So this is what it looks like here. Um, we've got the wraith bone on the right, and then we've also got the white primer one. So as I mentioned before, all the comments online say to apply a wraith bone paint uh, on over the top of the base coat primer. So here I'm applying it to the Wraithbone spray painted model and then next I apply it over the top of the white primed model. And so I thought by having a control we can compare what the difference is between the two. I did have to water down the paint as a little bit. So here you can see the white primer, then the white primer plus the Wraithbone base coat plus the wraith bone primer with the wraith bone base coat and then just the wraith bone primer. Bit of a tongue twister but you can see here that the main difference is actually the ones that have been base coated versus the ones that were just primed. The two in the middle here are from different primes but already you can see that the difference between those and the two on the ends is quite significant. There is some differences between the white primer and the Wraithbone primer in terms of the base coated ones, but it's pretty subtle. However, yeah, the difference between the white and the Wraithbone on the ends is very significant. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're planning on base coating them, then that's a bigger decision than what color the primer is underneath the base coat. And you can see what I mean here is that it is um, one on the left is just the Wraithbone primer and the one on the right is Wraithbone primer plus the base. So yeah, quite significant change. However, you know, usually you don't leave the base coat or the primer, you know, you put a shade or a contrast paint over the top of it. 
So here I've got Reichland Flesh Shade and I'm going to apply this over the models and we can see what how it shapes up with the ones that are um, base coated versus the ones that are just primed and the different primes and how it interacts with it. So I probably have a too big a brush here and it does pull a little bit more than I was wanting it to but hopefully it still helps get a general idea of how much impact it is. So again we've got the same order here and you can see that the ones in the middle are quite different from the ones on the end and if you here's a close-up so really I think the biggest difference is yeah base coated versus just primed so I wanted to try a different shade as well just to make sure that you know the results are reproducible so I'm putting this purple shade uh, violet over the weapons and this way we can kind of see if it's just that particular Reichland flesh shade that has that interaction with the base coat or not and I'm also going to do some dry brushing with Corax White. So I've got my small dry brush here just to try and get um, to the small fine details and I'm doing this because um, it's trying to bring out some of the edges. So again same order and you can see that the middle two again are probably the best looking models and the ones that are just primed are the least. It is subjective though so let me know in the comments below which ones you think look the best. Analyzing the four different uh, variants that we have and again this is my perspective as a beginner there was two conclusions that I came to. Firstly is the primer color is very important if you're not going over the primer color with a base paint. So what I mean by this is if you just prime it and then just start painting leveraging the fact that the model's already covered in the primer color that's roughly what you're after then definitely invest in the more expensive primers. However if you're planning on going over the top of the primer with a base coat then as long as your primer color is roughly similar so in this example white and wraithbone is pretty close then it really doesn't make too much difference by the time you go over it with a base coat then you go over it with a wash or a shade or a contrast paint. The differences there are quite negligible and the cost associated with it is you know more than double the price. Again I'm not really sure exactly what I'm talking about and if this is good advice or not but from my perspective you know, I really just don't see that it's justifiable to pay that much for the primer when there's not really that much difference on the end of the day. Anyway if you've made it this far uh, consider leaving a like or a subscribe it really does help me out and let me know in the comments below what your experience is if I'm completely on the right track or the wrong track or how you have discovered what works best for you. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.